Before we begin today's video, I just wanted to let you know about the Turtle Beach Stealth 700 headset. With noise cancelling features, Bluetooth for listening to calls and music, and a superhuman hearing feature that lets you listen to even the smallest sounds of gameplay, I recommend it. Please check out the links below for more information. Hello all, I just wanted to bring to your attention a game that I had heard about a few months ago, got excited, and then had to wait for more development. So while I wasn't checking in, it got some interviews, and started releasing demos to game reporters. But recently it began to pick up a little bit more traction, and now it seems like a great time to weigh in on it. The game is Panache's Ancestors Humankind Odyssey. Every game reporter mentions that it's created by Patrice Desolet credited for the Prince of Persia games and the first few games of the Assassin's Creed series, so I will as well. However, there has been one thing missing from these numerous interviews and gameplay reveals. All were done with reporters and interviewers with very little knowledge of human anthropology. So I decided to try to create a series of videos that will cover those aspects of the game, as well as my personal weigh-ins. All the links to the interviews and gameplay will be down below, as well as my social media links and more. This video will cover the initial reports of the game and which ancestor we might start off with. So what has been primarily shown from the reports and the trailers are jungle environments, some savanna, but most likely there will be some other terrain types there as well. Now as far as I can tell from interviews, the ancestor that the game will end with is Australopithecus afarensis, or Lucy. Discovered in 1974, walked upright, and is often cited as our oldest direct ancestor because of it. From what I've seen, it starts us out around 10 million years ago. So the game doesn't seem to be doing evolution from ancient apes to homo sapiens today, but rather the evolution of even more ancient apes to Lucy, the beginnings of the road to humanity. Now again, mind you, I have heard nothing concrete on this, but for now, this looks like where the game is going to span. Perhaps they'll have other games going further down the line, but for now, roughly 8 million years of evolution will do. So there were many primates back 10 million years ago, and we're strictly looking at apes, not monkeys. Monkeys have tails still, are shorter, and usually use all fours, and their tails are usually like a fifth limb. Apes are larger and have more of an upright posture. They can live and swing from trees too, but using their long arms instead of a tail to do so. But while we're looking at apes, there were a number of them, so it's hard to pin down which species the game is looking at. But there are two main evolutionary groups at the time that the game is probably focusing on. There are many types of apes, so let me just name the three subfamilies that I want to talk about. There's the subfamily Pongenae, of which the most famous and still living species of that group is the orangutan. Then there is Hylobatidae, one of the oldest types of apes, and is home to the subfamily of Gibbons. The last subfamily, and the one the game is probably focusing on, is Homininae, or at least it should be, which is the bunch that will eventually lead to humans, Homo sapiens. In the numerous interviews and gameplay reveals, I never caught which species they're starting off with at the 10 million year mark, and so with that, I'll give you my two best guesses of which ancestor they're trying to depict. For one, it could be Oranopithecus, or the Eurasian Great Ape. Its remains had been found in Greece and Turkey. They might have been in Africa, but there's no evidence to support that at the moment. So why it doesn't link up location-wise, because the game does start in Africa, Oranopithecus are very close to that 10 million year mark, which is basically the main reason why I put it in here. The other is Sahelanthropus chagensis, or Sahelaman, or Man of Chad. This one's remains were found in Africa, so that's a big deal because that's where the game starts out. However, the fossil dates back to a little younger than Oranopithecus, dating in at around 7 million years. So while the fossils aren't old enough, the game could stretch it a bit, or place an even older ancestor at the 10 million year mark. We don't know. As I mentioned, there are plenty of apes in the area, but most seem to be evolutionary dead ends and don't relate back to humans directly. So that's why those two are my best guesses. Trying to survive is hard enough in the game, I'm sure, but it might seem easy because we already know the end, right? We eventually get to humans, or at least in a DLC or something. But the chosen starting time makes me think. 
10 million year mark is an interesting point to start. It is right before a major split in evolution. It is at that point where the separation begins to form between gorillas, chimpanzees, and humans. Will panache, based on how we choose our evolutionary traits and at what time we choose them, make it an option that we evolve into another separate species that doesn't lead to homo sapiens? I have heard nothing confirming nor denying this so far, but I'm just throwing it out there. It would make for an interesting challenge. Perhaps this will add some fun and decision making to the game. But other than that, however, there doesn't seem to be that much in the narrative other than evolving and surviving thus far. For people like me, that's fine. I get happy off of all the references and historical content I see. But what about for other gamers who might need a little bit more for them? Will this game appeal to the casual gamer? It is important for a game itself to be fun and to reach as wide an audience as possible. If you want more games like this, it has to make money for more investment. Every game tries to appeal to everyone, but will also find themselves pertaining to a certain crowd. Games like Fortnite or Division 2, for example, are general type games that everyone who plays them can get something out of it. Whereas, say, from software games are appealing to those who like a good challenge. And by challenge, I mean how many times they can die before they cry themselves to sleep at night. Ancestors Humankind Odyssey, as of right now, seems to be fitting into that latter category. With scant tutorial, no minimap, dangerous environments, and you needing to discover practically everything from tool making to knowing what plants not to eat, is left up to the player to find out. While that may sound difficult, it forces the player to use memory, leadership, attention to detail, and problem solving. I think it can be summed up in a phrase that Mr. DeSoleil said to several interviewers. Can you, Homo sapien, survive what your ancestors did? I'll be doing more videos on this game and follow it because I find it really interesting. Anyway, let me know what you guys feel about the game. What needs to be improved, or what catches your attention? Although there is no set release date for Ancestors Humankind Odyssey, information does say that it will come out in 2019. And if you like this video, please click that like button and subscribe for more content on Ancestors Humankind Odyssey and other history vids. And if you'd like to help support this channel, check out my Patreon account. I'm Eric, the Lone Pine Wolfman, and remember gamers, never stop learning.